<laughs> Bunny Day Shudder. Yes. I am not looking forward to it for next year. You already have a great place to get married, though. What, in your graveyard? My daughter of Anubis. My first time catching a live stream, but I've been watching Kita's VODs for months. You guys have made me laugh so much. Thank you all. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. Bunny Day was FNAF hell on eggs. It was it was something. You've been you've been better. I had to write up one of my employees for not doing their job, but eating a donut helped my mood and soul the stream. Well, I'm glad that the stream can help your mood, Mr. Moon. I am glad that the sh that the stream can uh help with that. All right, Isabel. Nothing going on today. Oh, Isabel. Hey, Umbreons. Hating up, hate writing up people, but such is life. I will, however, enjoy smacking the rude hippo who won't leave my island. Fair. So, LaBelle was at my island yesterday, so I got this cute shirt from her. For doing her request. Basically, she's like, here, you have to dress up in... F she asked me to dress up in fantasy clothes. So I did that, and then she gave, she gave me this shirt. Also, I bought a tiny crown. So there's that. It was very expensive. <laughs> T-Bone is leaving your island tomorrow. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Do you like T-Bone? Ooh, look at all this stuff. Oh my. From Moon Moon, for the Empire. I'll take it. That's right, for the Empire. Ooh, Imperial Chest. Nice. Looks good. You have Ozzy on your island? That's exciting. Ozzy's a good bean. Long live Betelgar. Ooh, what is this? Champion's pennant? Oh my god. That's awesome. I need to like find a spot beside my house. <clears throat> I haven't organized like, or obviously like terraformed well where I want to put my house yet, but we'll get there. I'm kind of tackling e each section at a time just so it's not super overwhelming. So, all right, Fender, this is from Fender. Twinkle, twinkle, Kita Nash, please do not turn me to ash. Faceless and eternally. Your powers grow and frighten me. What a nice poem. Thank you, Fender. A figure skating costume. That's not really what I was expecting from that. <laughs> I can't say that's what I was expecting from, from that uh, letter. Chloe's dressed in a suit. She looks so fancy. So she didn't glitch out for you, dragon, because Lionel glitched out for me. Take this. Oh, from LaBelle. You were very helpful the other day. Here are two tailor's tickets as a thank you. You can exchange them for items. 3,000 bells or less at the tailor shop. Thank you. It's not going to pay for another crown, though. She moved in no problem. Well, that's good. Because as the title of this VOD, or I guess VOD if you're watching this in the future, stream if you're watching it now, uh, Lionel disappeared. You'll either love this or hate it. Either way, this should be entertaining. Oh god. What is this, Umbreons? What have you done? Poor Lionel. I know. I 
I was playing on Sunday. Like, I started the game and went over and was like, his house was just gone. Like, there was an empty plot. Isabel didn't say anything. He didn't say anything to me about moving. He just yeeted. Hardcore yeeted from the island completely. And I was like, oh, God. So I was afraid that the plot was glitched out. Um, Jester's Mask. Oh. I actually bought one of these for my Harley Quinn cosplay. I bought that one and then the red one. So thank you, Umbreons. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Mr. KK in here. Uh, bring me back to KK Island. You're just assuming he's in heaven now? How did he disappear? He glitched. He glitched out, which can, I guess, happen when you get villagers from other people. Um. Oh, hello. So, yeah, I just started the game and he was completely gone. His house was an empty plot. And, uh, I went to, I went island hopping because I wanted to see if people would show up. And they did. And I was able to invite somebody and she moved in. So I don't think it's glitched. I think it's fine. It just yeeted him. So, so that you may walk in the daylight with the daywalkers. Are these sunglasses? Glacious. What? What? What is this supposed to be? Glacious. It didn't take long for them to demolish his house. It didn't. It's the stagehand mask. What it what does that mean? Who got yeeted? Lionel. He got yeeted hardcore. Ooh woo. It's for people who aren't in the play but need to be on stage. Okay. Oh, I think I just learned this actually. Oh no, maybe not. Oh, thank you, Emlyn. I think I learned the Dark Lily Crown DIY. Which is just all black lilies. Oh, another one from Umbreon's. Oh, KK Gumbo. <laughs> thank you, Umbreon's. I actually don't think I have that. And KK Bazaar. I don't think I have either of those. Thank you, cat. Jams. They use those at Comic Con for the cosplay contest? Really? You have the black tulips for that? Well, if you need me to make you one. Just wanted to thank you for flying Dodo Airlines. Well. What is it? Flippers. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I should probably get rid of this one. You can only have 300 and I'm almost half full, so I'm going to have to start deleting letters. All right. Ozzy says, isn't this postcard pretty? I don't want to cover it up with too much of my writing because I think it's pretty and I should let you see it. That is why I'm only writing a few words and I'm done. This is literally a piece of paper, Ozzy. But okay. Daisy May, thank you kindly for always buying my turnips. Here are some freshly picked bamboo shoots. Thank you. 
Pietro, you know me so well. The gift you gave me is so me. Sometimes I stay up all night just looking at it. Ha, just kidding. You know I need my beauty rest, but I really do like it, and I'm not just saying that. From Pietro, with love. Thanks, Pietro. I think I gave him, like, a comedian's outfit or something. For his birthday. Skateboarding helmet? Uh, yesterday, or not yesterday. Was it yesterday? No, it was, uh, Sunday. Was Pietro's birthday. I have this now. Oh my god, it has a bumblebee on the side. Perfect. Kraya may have gone off the rail, but this won't. Is this a train? It is. It's a train set. <laughs> That is very cute. I'll have to find a spot for it. Pietro knows you so well. I mean, Pietro knows my love for Tony Hawk, I guess. I found Scumlat's house. Oh my god. <laughs> That's true, he lives in the garbage. This is Scumlat's house. You can't delete my letters. I put so much care into them. Well. You got bubblegum KK over the weekend? That's exciting. I love bubblegum KK. Tim says, yeah, ha, ha. Is this a bone outfit? Tim. Oh, it's just a skelly. Okay, good. Now I can have another skelly in my skelly room. <laughs> Officer! Officer! Oh, thank you, DJM. I need I needed this. Security uniform. That's right. Now I just need the hat. Now I just need the hat. And it'll be perfect. You should give Pietro the extra jester mask. I, I'll try. I'll see if he'll wear it. Ooh, tulip. That's from Cat 2. Oh, KK okay, okay, Corral. I wish it would tell you who the presents were from when they were in your inventory. So that I didn't have to get these all individually. Oh, rank B. I don't care. Happy home. Sending you the song I sang for you at my show the other day. I hope Life on Ketopia treats you just right. I mean, it's my island, so it better. A bed. Okay. And bubblegum KK, which I already have, but maybe I'll put it up on my wall. I think you can do that, King. What does this look like? Oh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put my skelly in my house. You need bubblegum KK? Do you want me to send it to you? You have the hat? Oh, I would love one. This is my skelly room. We'll just have to move Quilson over. Mm. 
There. Now it's symmetrical. With muscalies. I will not have a grave for Lionel because Lionel is coming back. I am forcing him to return. <laughs> Don't rest in peace, Quilson. That's right. Also, I made my shell lamp. Or my yeah, it's a lamp. I made it match my shell bed. And all was right in the world. When will we have a grave for Elise? Whenever Elise wants to leave. Whenever she freaking leaves. I don't know how to make it more clear that she should leave. I've done all I can. I made her a prison. I put a moat around it. Like, her only escape is to space. I don't know how else to convey that she needs to leave. Oh, Flick is here today. Oh, Pietro's over here. Let's see if I can give him the jester. Is he wearing Tim's shirt? Pietro, come here. Piet Pietro? Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, he has a flea. Dude, I don't have, I don't think I have my net, so you can just have this. It's a jester mask. Where'd it go? There it is. There you go. Are you gonna wear it? I don't wanna be rude, but this is awesome. No, she's not ready to leave, because th if they're going to leave, they have thought bubbles over their head, and I've seen her when she teleports and she doesn't, so. He's not ready to leave yet, sadly. Sadly, sadly. Hi, Oz. He's wearing the hat. Everybody's wearing your stuff. You can be Kita Jr. if you want, I guess. I don't know why you'd want to, but... Is anybody home crafting? Maybe Meringue is. I feel confused at how Pietro felt about that gift. Meringue is asleep, staring at the popcorn. Hi, Meringue. How did you fall asleep standing up, though? I'll take my Nook Miles. Also really shows what can happen if people do that in your shop. It's true. My question is if I change the design, is there are their clothes gonna change? Like would they automatically change if I filled that spot? You know what I mean? I don't know. Well, Ozzy's just running over there having the best day of his life. After I talked to her, she fell asleep again. Oh, Bianca was doing that. Hi, Fuchsia. Fuchsia has a cool house. I love her floor. She's just eating a sandwich. What's up? I did spot what Cat was up to. He was wishing on stars. Fuchsia. She's paying attention. She knows what Cat for the Win is all about. Oh, Sahara's on your island? Finder says, I've opened it to anyone on my friends list in case you're interested. Did you buy the flooring or wallpaper yet? I'm curious as to what it is, because it's the same for everyone. Oh, Cookie put the door thing on. So I was very disappointed to find out that you can't put door decorations on villagers' houses, because I tried and it wouldn't let me. Um, so I gave it to her yesterday, and I guess she put it up. So now she has this cute little paw print on her door. Fuchsia is really cute. Hi, Cookie. Oh, Cookie's wearing it too. 
Cookie, what are you doing? Cookie, I have no idea what you just said. She just like sits on the floor. I am curious though, like if I change it in the shop, also we have a new flag. I thought you would appreciate it. Oh, this is Frika. She's about to be yeeted. With Lionel. Thank you, dragon. All right, Tim, we're, we're gonna do an experiment for science. Oh my God, that's a Wonder Woman costume. You will not convince me otherwise. All right, I wanna see if I change it. Is it gonna stay, are they gonna keep wearing the same thing or are they gonna wear my shirt? I'm curious. Yes, I do. Don't lie to me. How do you think I did this? Not that. How does this not count? What, I guess because I scanned it? Hmm, that's lame. Okay. <gasps> Somebody getting some panties! Well, for the sake oh, so I can't even use those, weird. Dems, thank you for gifting that stuff to Punchy. Punchy, hope you enjoy your emotes and also your sub badge. <laughs> oh, it has to be clothing. I see. So, like, if I made it a shirt, then it would work. That's weird, though, because you can display it on a mannequin and you can wear it. I think. I think you can wear them. <gasps> Somebody getting some panties! But yeah, they might need to be in the pro designer section. Doom, thank you for gifting that sub to Bloody Circuits. Bloody Circuits, hope you enjoy your emails and also your sub badge. Hmm. to figure that out later. Oh, Stella's home. We can see if she's crafting. Also, I put this little palm tree lamp next to Sprinkle's house. I don't like the regular one. It looks really kitschy, but I like the, uh, the customized ones. So, I want to put them all around once I get the DIY. You're not crafting either, Stella? You're just reading? Oh shoot, I need to go check my turnip prices! Run! I, I had a pink palm tree lamp, but I sent it to my friend since she loves pink. Fair. Cop hat has been sent. Thank you, Mr. Moon. I'm running to check turnip prices. Yesterday they were 93 and then 88. So we'll see. Yours are 39. Wow. What is the lowest it can be? 84. Wow, they just keep going down. All right, 84. So then in like 15 minutes, we'll check again. I'm gonna write this down. Here come the yacht stay for murderer. I'm the lyrical gangster. Murderer. Still love you like that. Murderer. Dooms, thank you for the 500 bits. <laughs> I appreciate that. Did it reset your ball, Dooms? Or did you make it a Pokeball? I must know. Balls are lying. Yeah, they are. Was 127, then 123, now 70. Hmm. 
I will never tell. <laughs> What's this? Formal paper? A toilet and a chair. How exciting. Yours are 119. Oh, a ghost umbrella. And there's a pineapple umbrella. Oh, I actually want to buy some of these. Your Nux is finally upgrading. I think that might have been the 30 day mark. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, let's go look and see if we have a DIY. Highly appalled. <laughs> He's living his dream. How does it upgrade? You have to have like 30, I think it's 30 days of active play. There may be other things you have to do, but uh, that was when it upgraded for me. Like you may have to spend a certain amount, but I'm not sure. Venus come. Oh, hi, Sprinkle. What's up? Smile. Well. <gasps> folks find them unsettling. Well, I mean, I learned the happiest happiness reaction. <laughs> Thanks, Sprinkle. There are so many, like, how are you gonna pick? Oh yeah, we talked about that at the beginning of stream, Umbreon's. All the, uh, all the updates that are coming on Thursday. You snail, I don't need that. There we go. Trying to make another shell partition, but I need another Venus comb, I think. Well, that wasn't it. Also, look at my purple flowers. I bred them accidentally. There are shell partitions. You should give me the DIY for them. But I don't have enough. I need one more Venus comb to make it. I was out gardening, elbow deep in dirt and face bumping my flowers. Okay. When I got this way cool DIY idea. And then I thought, where's the fun in keeping the recipe to myself? So get to it. Build, build, build. Wicked genius Phoebe. 
A juicy Apple TV. Well, that's not what I wanted, but okay. Freeze, it's the cops. Thank you, Moon Moon. Also, what did I not register? Oh, it's it's bubblegum KK. Haha. I am now Officer Keto. This is what the shell partition looks like if you customize it purple. There are other options, but I did purple. Also, yes, you must pay respects to Buck Bumble at the Buck Bumble Shrine. When you come to the island, I was working on the the entrance. So this is what you see here. When you come in. And it leads you right to, the boot, to Buck to the Bumble. Damn, thank you for the hundred bits. Right, there's Bumble bits. Your town's flag is Lover's Tree from Tulip. Oh my God, it's so good. When it becomes an empty plot, then you start looking for a new villager, right? Yes, but you make sure that um, it doesn't say sold on it. Because if it says sold, then somebody has moved in. But yeah, I want to make another one for over here, but I need one more Venus comb, so I'm waiting for that. Probably going to move these elsewhere and put the palm tree lamps here when I get them. But this is what I got so far. I love the waterfalls. Thank you. I'm working on it little by little. There you go, have some bubblegum KK in your life. <laughs> Praise the bumble. That's right. Your bamboo has finally grown at your zen place. Got some spring blossoms. It really is a nice little chill place to relax. Well, that's nice, Atheran. No thoughtful message. My thoughtful message is this entire stream, Punchy. <laughs> yeah, no, what? He just chilling. I guess he's just chilling. Green floral flooring? Sounds interesting. Isabella's asleep. Ma'am. Ma'am, that's not allowed. Okay. Let's see what we have. I think I have all the fencing. So... <laughs> Nothing to buy there. I'm gonna buy this. Yes. Would you like to make another selection? Not from there. Is your hair gray for the Hanuman cosplay? No. I wasn't doing a Hanuman cosplay. Also, my hair would not be this long if I was doing Hanuman cosplay. This is as close as I can get to Edelgard's hair. Marine Song, 2001. 
I'm gonna send this to Kat. I don't know if she has it or not, but I'm sending it regardless. There you go, Kat. Enjoy that. The lack of message is the thought-filled message? That's right. That's right. Alright, so while we're here, we also need to force Lionel to come back. So that's what we're going to be doing. There we go. You're coming back, Animan. You don't have a choice. Uh, I got the monocle for Lionel, and someone sent me the mustache. I did not buy that. <laughs> Welcome back, zombie lion animan. Well, Frika, uh, we hardly knew you, but you're going to be forced out in a minute. Oh, I'm gonna change this because they're open. Lionel, what do you want me to make for you? I know that's why you're here. A golden candlestick. Great, how much gold is this gonna require? I'm really hoping it's just one. This is expensive. <sighs> Lionel, God damn it! It's not my fault you yeeted yourself. He is an expensive crest hunter. Like, how much gold is this gonna take? I'm gonna be pissed if it takes like five pieces of gold. Okay, two. That's not too bad, but still. Freaking expensive lion. Big oof is right. Gold ain't cheap, Lionel. Put this stuff in storage. Real quick, just so I have more space. Uh, what does this look like? Nice. That's actually the floor that um that fuchsia has that I was just talking about. Maybe I'll put it upstairs. Lionel is wannabe high class. He's snooty or something. I think he's um mug, which is the male version of snooty. There we go. I'll put it up here in the attic. With all my boxes and turnips. I can sell the this. I don't really need that. Put that in storage. Okay. 
That's for cat. What are these? These are very yellow pants. I don't think I want these. I got them from a balloon. Okay. I gave him a monocle and he took it and he wore it and then he yeeted. And that's what happened. I gave him a monocle and it was perfect and then he yeeted. And I'm cranky about it. How dare. I know, if he eats himself again, that's it. If he eats himself again, that's it. I don't know what to tell him. Here's your candlestick. Take it, move in. Yeah, Lionel. He's gonna dance. Okay. That's not as good as Mama's dance. I don't want this. I already have this. Well, you're moving in. Guess what? You're moving back into your house, and you're gonna like it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna kick someone out. It's fine. Golf lawyer, attorney at play. Really? The only problem with Sedith and Hanum and Lion are that they're the same personality type, which is smug. But you know, it happens. That's right. What are you gonna do to her, though? She was about to move anyway. She absolutely was not. She just moved in. Like she was unpacking yesterday. How many visits does it take for amiibo fosters to want to move in? It takes three and you have to make them three items. Uh, you're fine, Marcus. So she should be moving out then. So yeah, you have to scan them in three days and then you have to craft whatever they want. <laughs> She's like, well, I'm leaving. Bye. If anybody wants to come over and adopt Frika. She's a cute little penguin. She's snooty. I thought about evicting Sprinkle, but I was just like, I really like Sprinkle, though. He's very cute, and she's always wearing that mage outfit I gave her. So. You need Snooty? <laughs> Do you want another penguin? Elise is Snooty. Do you want Elise? Okay, we need to check turnip prices again because they would have changed. So we're gonna run over here and do that real quick. Hell no. You want Frika? She just moved in yesterday and now she's getting evicted. <laughs> I know. All due to some candlesticks. Why did I come in here? It's not where I meant to go. How much do you owe the Nook Mafia? None. All my debts are paid. Mm 
I'm tempted to get Animal Crossing to remove a lean. <laughs> Sprinkles is too good for this world, but if you kicked her, I would pick her up. Well, 81. Okay, so here, this is the pattern. They've fallen every every single time I've checked. So we started at 93, then went to 88, then went to 84, and now went to 81. I don't, what pattern is this? Is this a good pattern? I don't know. Could be constant decrease or it could spike later in the week. I guess we'll see. What about now? It's time to rock with the big debug. Bumble. What about now? It's time to rock with the big debug. Bumble. Bump to the bump to the bump to the base. Bump to the bump to the bumble. Leashes? Leisha says respect to the bumble <laughs> iced tea. Leisha, damn it. All right, praise the bumble. Praise him. And Leisha comes in and makes it rain. It's true. I don't even know who's winning. Well, iced tea is now winning. Hot tea. Just had a little bit of a lead. And now iced tea has, has uh, surpassed them. Iced tea is best tea. I'm actually drinking iced tea right now. I just got off a call and saw the Bumble Shrine. <laughs> this is the best that I could make it with what I had. I tried a few different options and this looked the best. I had like different tables up there. I did what I could to make the Bumble Shrine. Thank you so much, Lacious. Also, our our goal is done. Your testimony contains some obvious there. Dooms, did you make it 69? Is that what that was? Yep. Am I surprised? No. Not in the slightest. <laughs> Thank you, Dooms, for the $19 tip. Doom says, don't like tea, but hot tea. You know what, dudes? Who disappeared? Lionel disappeared. He did himself, but we're forcing him to come back with Amiibo, so... Fine. Respect the Bumble Shrine. The thing is... Making paths, if you do a different path, they don't line up and that really annoys me because I was going to change the path type and uh, they won't line up. There will be like a line of grass in between the two paths and that annoys me. So I don't know if I want to just do sand then because that's what this is. And then just kind of like have that be it and just have it be kind of tropical and beachy feeling I don't know I'm still deciding I 
I thought I had terrible headphones, hiss. It's because you're standing next to Tiki's by a waterfall. Yes. Yes, this is why. I love it. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Let me know when I can come over. I'll just open it up for you now so you can come over. And, uh... Get Freaka. Cover it with flowers? Oh, the, uh, like the space in between? I guess you could. It's just then I can't run over it. You know what I mean? I don't think the pattern would work because I think a custom pattern would still, it would still be the, the line would still be there. Ew, the drippy nose. Ugh, I hate that. I feel like so many characters have the drippy nose, and I don't know if it's supposed to make them look cute, but to me, it makes me want to vomit, and I hate it. Like Daisy May is adorable, except for that. But you got Daisy May. You've got the kid in Wind Waker. You've got Cub Chew. It's like too many. Wipe your damn nose. That's how I feel about it. It doesn't look cute. I don't get it. I don't get it either. My brick path does not meet, does not match the brick bridge, and I'm not over it. I don't get why we can't paint the like customize the bridges, or why they don't match. I I don't understand. It is gross. It is gross. Salt star power. I read. Red, thank you for the reason for 29 months because nothing is cuter than chronic sinus drainage. <laughs> Ugh. Why? I don't understand why it's such a thing. My rocks are getting closer together. Makes me wonder what they're plotting. Hi, Red. Do you like my cop outfit? Do you like my prison? The pigeon has landed, that's right. I'm keeping mine wood so they match with the gray stone, fair. Yeah, no, it's gross. <laughs> it is, I don't get it. And it seems like it's supposed to be a cute thing because it's always like younger characters that are supposed to be cute that have like this gross like blob of snot coming out of their nose and I'm just like, oh. I can't. Hi, Jelly. You can build a prisons? I mean, I did. Carefully. I've got my spotlights here, barbed wire fence. I wish I could get a searchlight and put it up here. I kind of built this like sentry tower thing, or that's what this is supposed to be. But I need like a searchlight. I don't know if that exists in this game. It's apparently a cute thing in Japanese culture, but I don't get it. I don't get it either. I meant a pattern from your custom app. You can place them on the ground. It can go over the paths. Oh, you mean like put the, put that in between? I don't know. I don't know though, cause I don't, I still think it would, wouldn't it like sit on top of the path though? Cause I think it would still, I don't know where it would put it. Hold on. Display on ground. What, like that? I mean, maybe, but I think that little bit of grass would still go up between the two.
Dragon, it's open if you want to come over and deal my villager. If you Or did you have to put a plot down? Putting a plot down, okay. I do need the fitting room. Can get the LaBelle shirt in purple. A humble sweater. Just just a humble sweater. Button wrapped around skirt. I wonder if Cat would like that. Okay, now what? What is this? This is supposed to be a wrestler uniform. This is Wonder Woman colors. I'm just saying. Oh, professor. Speaking of cat. Oh, professor. Hi, cat. I love that skirt. Okay, what colors do you want? Or do you want to just come over? I have my gates open. You can come over and shop if you want. Professor Turkey has landed. The jacket and chain with purple. I have that already. That was one of the first things I got, actually. Professor Turkey. You can't get your quality stable talk for the day until you close your gate. Oh, okay. You could just come over. You could. I'm gonna get these two shirts. In the meantime, Officer Kita's taking a break to buy clothes. Excuse me. Excuse me. Like, but what? I don't. What is this outfit for? I don't know. If I gave a beak to one of the villagers, would they wear it? I'm gonna find out. I like the wrestler outfit, and I agree it's Totes Wonder Woman. Right? Just like the. The one outfit that they have is totally a Hogwarts outfit. They just didn't come out and say that. Alright, I'm gonna go get that beak. Who should I give it to? I have the totes not Hogwarts line today, right? They're even in the colors. I'm just like, come on, Nintendo. We see what you're doing. Oh, Cat for the Wind is playing Animal Crossing. What a shocker. I think I might have, okay, so I have this frilly skirt. I thought I bought other stuff for Cat. I gotta go check. Um. Hmm. Ew, I don't want these. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of these. Oh, that I got for Cat. Uh... I found this weird cyber suit, so I bought that. So I can cosplay as Cortana, I guess. I think I got that for... Where? Maybe not. Maybe someone gave that to me. Oh, I got these for Cat. Well, the white one. I think I'm keeping the purple one. This is why I should just make a pile of stuff instead of putting it in my storage, or I'll forget. Oh, I got the green bubble gum for Cat. <laughs> Go. 
goodness. Oh, you have green bubble gum? Okay, that's fine. The only interesting thing in your shop is baby bonnets. I mean, for when you want to cosplay as a baby, I guess. That's for cat. That is being sold. Okay. I'll leave your stuff by the Bumble Shrine. There you go, cat. The one will go with your halo. Tali got stuck between the window and screen and I had to help her. <laughs> well. The cyber suit does look pretty cool. They had different colors too. Get rid of that. What's your Hogwarts house? Uh, Ravenclaw. Totally not a Tron suit. They're gonna put the beak in their house? Oh, they are, they're not gonna wear it? Really? Cause Lionel wore the monocle, I'll give it to Pietro. Oh wait, no, we gave him the Jester's mask. Which I guess he's gonna put in his house now. And not wear. Will they at least take the bubble gum? Meringue, are you even home? No. Meringue, where are you? I flick. Oh, Sprinkles over here just living her best life. What if I gave her a beak? This is for you. You want this? It's a beak. I was kind of hoping she would put the beak over her beak. Stella, do you want bubble gum? Since I can't find meringue. Have some bubble gum. Some bubble gum, that's really thoughtful. Wow, not sure I can pull off this look. Puts it away. Sprinkles just Naruto running. You like that penguin? I love the penguins. They're really cute. Oh, they're having a conversation. What are you guys talking about? Sprinkle, guess what? Last night I dreamed that I had a new faucet in my kitchen. When I turned it on, sweet tea came out instead of water. Wow, freaky. For reals though. I think that'd be pretty wild, frap. <laughs> I just remember now that I dreamed I had a hot fudge faucet the night before last. You think something's wrong with me? <laughs> nah, I like how your brain works when you're zonked out. You can have friends over and be all like, so anyway, who wants a hot fudge sundae, hmm? I'm gonna get one of those for myself and I'm rich and famous. When you put it like that, I guess th these are sweet dreams I'm having. <laughs> Maybe tonight I'll try to dream up a whipped cream faucet for topping off those Sundays, bada bing. What a conversation that was. What a trip we just went on. Beekception. Well done. <laughs> if only she would wear it. Sushi art. Thank you for the follow. Ooh, ooh, Venus comb. Finally. Finally. I can make my other shell partition. That was so wholesome. <laughs> it was. I totally expected Sprinkle to drag her through the mud with shame. Well, Kat said that apparently one of her villagers is causing a lot of drama. And is fighting with everyone. <laughs> the only villager that ever started fights with people was Quilson. For me. And he is now gone. Dead. And gone. So, 
Where is the would this be in I don't think this is in furniture. Is it in other? Oh, I'll just do craftable, that'll be easier. Coulson is gone. He took a vacation down the Hudson River. Which villager spill the tea? A golden toilet? Uh, if you want the golden toilet, if you send me the go the gold to make it, I'll make it for you. Glacious. Okay, I need this to be purple. Wait, what? Your villager that was causing all these problems. Hi, Fran Cheesecake. He's sleeping with the fishes. He is red. I can show you. Once I put this here. Can I, like, bin it? Now to just put it in place. Hmm. I actually don't know which one looks better. Which way looks better? Do you want purple mums? Sure. If so, how many? Um, just, just a few. Like however many you want to give me. Oh, I mean Mira is in a crap ton of drama, but I hate Klaus. Yeah, but didn't she start fights with other people too, not just Klaus? Eh, maybe I'll put it the other way. Yeah, hence the drama. <laughs> she like was just fighting with a bunch of people. Is it purple themed? Um, for the most part, my house isn't purple just because I couldn't get the siding and stuff I wanted in purple. So it's black and white instead. So I guess kind of my shell stuff is all purple. I like the moat around the prison. Thank you. I actually moved the prison just so that I could make a moat because it was too close to the edge before. So I had to move the whole thing. So then I made a moat. And it's coming from this nice, peaceful waterfall. <laughs> huh. Huh. So nice and relaxing over here. And then you have the prison. She's gotten upset at Sly and Stitches, then fought with Bunny and felt bad, so gave her a present. Mira's just like a little brat. Who disappeared? Lionel disappeared. He just yeeted. Um, I got him from Umbreon's, and then he yeeted himself. One day he was gone. His house wasn't there anymore. There was no, like, oh, he's moving out. There was nothing. He just yeeted. So... I'm forcing him back in with an amiibo. Someone asked earlier if amiibo cards were really expensive. It really depends on the character. Like Elise, who is in the prison currently. Um, her amiibo card is only $2. Because nobody wants her, including me. But then, someone like Lucky, their card is like... I don't know, his card was really expensive, like 80 bucks or something. It was crazy. Crazy. Oh! Emma, thank you for the follow. Oh, you like this too? This was one of the first items I got. It was Squidward's house, so obviously I had to put it on the beach. I mean, it was necessary. So here he stands, just looking off into the distance. 
is Audie's a lot. Audie doesn't have one. <clears throat> because Audie is new to Animal Crossing and all of the amiibo cards are old. The reason they're so expensive is because you can't even buy the packs anymore. I've heard that Nintendo might be doing more, like re-releasing them and then releasing new ones. Um, but I don't know if that's true. Oh. Now you just need a pineapple and a boulder. <laughs> oh, someone's coming over. Plot has been set, nice. So yeah, like, Audi and Raymond don't have cards yet because they're new to this game. So, unfortunately, you can't get them through Amiibo cards. I know, I really like Lucky, but that card is crazy expensive. I, I was thinking about it, Fender, because I do have the pineapple umbrella in the shop today. So I could put that there as, like, a little <laughs> paying homage to Spongebob. Um, you can buy packs on Amazon. They're crazy overpriced. They're not... The packs were like $5.99, I want to say. Maybe $6.99. 5 or $6.99. If you're buying an individual pack on Amazon, it's going to be crazy expensive. Same if you buy it on eBay. The packs have just become so pricey. Colton is 28. That's a lot. Well, Meringue is pretty expensive, too. I don't have her card. I just found her on an island. In my country, they were always overpriced. Oh, okay, gotcha, Franchise. Franchise cake. You have meringue too? The card or the, <laughs> the villager? <laughs> See, a lot of my cards came from when I first got them. When they first came out. So I have a lot of series one, but I don't really have a lot for the for the other series so Leopold I just bought and then Fuchsia I bought so if they try to move out I can force them to come back in who's Audie the names are different um I don't know what her name would be I think she's a wolf, isn't she? But she was the villager that was um, named after the one Animal Crossing fan. It was really sweet. It was an older lady who really loved New Leaf and had all like so many hours in New Leaf. She's an orange wolf. I think Lacious has Audie. Oh yeah, Frika's moving. Well. She is really cute. The grandma, yes. Uh Dalton, this is where this is where Frika lives. She's on the top level. On the right. Anybody crafting? I would like free DIYs. Meringue, are you crafting now? Have you woken up? Oh yeah, for sure, Red. There's a lot of different birds in the game. You could absolutely do a whole town just full of... You could probably do a whole town just full of penguins, maybe? There might be ten. I know there's a lot. Because you have, like, uh, Hop... I think his name's Hopper. Um, he's the one that looks really pissed. You have Rolds. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. He's really cute. Um, Sprinkle, Flo, Frika. Um, uh, what, Cube, I think, is the one. I really like Cube, but his card is expensive at this point, anyway. Um, so that's like six. I'm pretty sure there's even more. But then there's like ostriches, and you have... Um, chickens, there are just bird villagers, like, there's, there's tons, so it'd be pretty easy. Is Cube rare? Because I found, I got him to fill a spot ages ago. His card, I think, was, like, 28, something like that, at least when I looked at it. I don't know if it's still 
I don't know how much the cards fluctuate, um, but I think it was about 28 when I looked. I adore Cube. I love Cube. People can have exclusive cat towns. Yeah, there's tons of cat villagers too. Renee is one of the new characters. Is Renee a penguin or a, or a bird? <laughs> the ones they call bird are abominations. That's fair. I think ketchup is kind of cute though. And their name is literally ketchup. Renee is a horse villager. Well, that makes sense. He has the same personality as Ozzy and his catchphrase is brain freeze. That's amazing. I love him. I only have one lazy villager. Actually, I have so many smug villagers. Lacious was talking about getting Pietro and I was like, Lacious, if you want Pietro, I can, I can boot him and you can come get him if you want. Instead of trying to go find him on an island. She's pretty cute. Both of my friends have her on their island. I have not encountered a single new villager. Oh, see you later, Marcus. You have to wait for Sherry to leave first. Fair. Well, just let me know, because I can always, like, time travel to make sure that it'll line up. If you want. But yeah, I haven't seen any of the new villagers, because there's Renee, Judy, uh, Raymond. I haven't seen any of them. On islands or anything. Renee looks super edgy, but her personality is super cute. Is she Uchi or what's her personality type? Friga has been recruited. Yay! Well, I'm glad that she can find a good home. Pietro, your house is crazy. I want your moons. Pietro, give me your moons. I want them. I found Pietro on an island when I was looking for a new villager. I ended up finding Whitney, so I'm happy about that. Well, there you go. How many villagers can you have in this one? Ten. You can have up to ten. I think Renee is normal. Okay. Judy is really cute. Sherb. Is Sherb new? Is Sherb a sheep? Hookie. <laughs> Do you think my outfit is weird today? <laughs> Shots fired, Tim. Shots fired. Panties are flying. 10, so I can have all penguins with three left out or all chickens plus an empty space. Are there only seven penguins? I thought there were more than that. Yes, Cookie, her outfit is weird. Sherb is a goat. I think he's new. Oh, okay, right. He's a goat, not a sheep. I mean, I almost recruited Billy. He's an old man. He's cranky and he's a goat. Cat, are you ever coming over? Ma'am. Do not disrespect. There are 13 penguins, so... Oh, I see what you're saying. I could have all three with three left out. Gotcha. I was gonna say, you'd have to pick 10 of the 13. There's so many penguins. They're all precious. there. Hello. I love how Dalton's just recruiting all my villagers. <gasps> it's fine.
There is no code, it's just open. How much gold does the toilet take? Let me look. Hey, you're not taking Ozzy. I love him too much. Also, I don't have his amiibo card, so I can't take him back. It takes six. Lacious. The black crowns you have, may I see them in recipes? Yes. Uh, so this is the dark tulip crown. It takes five black tulips. And then I also have, I have, a, oh, there it is. It's just down here. So then I have a dark lily crown and that takes six black lilies. So those are the two that I have. I also have a blue roses one, which is very pretty, but you need six blue roses and I don't have those. So there you go. If it'd be anyone else, it'd be Sprinkle. <laughs> Hi, Mochi. Ozzy thinks your passport title is cute. Ozzy's cute. clues, huh? <laughs> Oitsu! It's Q-Lip. Hi, Ozzy. I love how he keeps wearing the MVP shirt. Because he is the MVP. We do have some good smells here, I guess. For when he goes to college. That's Ozzy's house. I bet you that bitch Elise is crafting. I bet that's who's crafting. But we can't get to her because she's in jail. Ozzy in his little hat. Have any of you named your island hell yet? No, but Mr. Moon named his quarantine, which is pretty close. I would say. Well, here comes that teary-eyed enthusiast cat. Also free mandatory masks on arrival. Cat's wearing a witch outfit today. She changed. Cat, you better pay your respects to Buck Bumble when you come in. Is it okay if I visit to throw more money at the tailor shop? That's fine. Oh, here comes Lacious. <laughs> She's more in character today, rude. Someone named their island Hell Junior. I've seen some uh, some interesting island names, so I don't know how much they censor it.
Lacious, you're very purple. Sexy Brutal. <laughs> Speaking of Sexy Brutal, Cat, we should replay that. <laughs> Since we're both getting the limited edition, we should replay it. It was so good. Cat's trying to pay her respects to the Bumble. All right, I will go craft these for you. Cat, you should put on the, the dress. Bumble! The cards are expensive, Red. They're so expensive. Turn around. Cat, turn around. Okay, your hat's in the way. Take off your hat. Van Hammer was very on brand, though. Okay, now turn around. There's little angel wings on it. You can just see them. That's why I bought it for you. Wings! All right, I will craft these crowns for you, Lacious. <laughs> People throwing flowers at Bumble? No, the, I was the one that Lacious was throwing flowers at. <laughs> Purple. All right. Here you go. Here you go, Lacious. All done. Oh, look at them. They're so purple. Hmm. Maybe I'll climb up here and put them here or something. I don't know. I will have to think. I'm gonna just take them and put them in my inventory. So I don't have to worry about running over them. Because I don't want to mess them up. Soul Man? Lacious does look fabulous. What? Oh. Okay. Oh, geez. A thousand. That's going to take forever. Like Blues Brothers. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I know that that's a wand, but it looks like a baby rattle. You're just carrying around a baby rattle. This is a wand. Ha! Ah. Here's the thing. I like that you can change your outfits with the magic wand. My problem is it doesn't change your hair. So you can't change, like you can't map your hair to an outfit, which kind of ruins the whole cosplay thing. It makes me sad. It's a baby rattle for men. <laughs> it's the only wand I could craft. If you send me, um, if you send me the required things, I can craft you a different one if you want. I was just teasing him. But I have a uh, I have the cherry blossom one. And I think I have the bamboo one. Is this a Yeah, that's the bamboo wand. I know I have others though. I just don't know what category they're in. Yeah, so I have the cherry blossom one, the bamboo one. I do have the egg one because I did all the egg stuff. A 
I thought I had another one, but maybe it's just those three. Is there no peach wand where it's just a butt? Why not? I'm missing a big star fragment, but I have the recipe. Oh, gotcha. He is always mean to me. I just gave you my penguin. You can't even. I gave you both of my penguins. I don't like how the wand steals your clothes. I know, that's annoying too. You have to buy duplicates. If you wanna wear the same boots, you have to set up two different outfits using the same boots. And I'm like, that's annoying. Oh yeah, I think I'm going to too, Cat. To go see Sahara then. I can craft a bamboo wand. It looks like a sharp piece of bamboo. Perfect for shanking. <laughs> yeah, cute penguins. Wand need <laughs> Nintendo, please fix. Oh my god, Moon Moon. What better place to spend quarantine but on an island? Oh, also, these are duplicate DIYs. Do you guys need any of these? Firewood, light bamboo rug, sandy beach flooring, coconut wall planter, or, or another light bamboo rug. If you need any of those, please feel free to take them. A decoy duck? Is this for me? That's true, which I was on an island right now, right? You found Quilson, but you trapped his soul into a duck. Oh my god. Oh, I can't put it down to look at it. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> I wish I could set it on top of his coffin. Is that like morbid? Maybe. Here's the thing. I would totally put the graveyard outside for them, but I don't think I can put their posters up, and that's just disappointing. And I guess I could maybe make them into custom designs, but even if I did that, that would take up a bunch of space. So, I don't know how to get around that. You can put it next to his coffin. Oh no, your audio quality went to shit? That's not good. I'm sorry, Red. I am gonna try to put this next to his coffin, because I think I can put stuff down if nobody's in my house. What if you built a cliff behind the coffins to hang it up? I don't know if, can you hang stuff on like a cliff wall? I don't know. Here lies Quilson, a dead duck. Here we go. <laughs> this glorious room. It's pretty beautiful. The grave is funny. <laughs> Please, if you need them, take them. I keep getting the same ones. <laughs> they call me daddy, huh? 
You're welcome, Dalton. Are we, just, are we going to talk about your murderous tendencies? I mean, you can. Do you need KK Calypso? Let me check. What do I have? I don't think I have that, actually. No, I don't have Calypso. Um, I sent you mine today. I didn't know if you had it, but I sent it to you anyway. Just in case. They have a mouth, but they can never scream. That's true. Is someone crafting for you? Might have switched over at noon. I can go look. I still think it was Elise who was crafting. Cookie's not home. Pietro's home. You can look for hermit crabs. Go for it. I did not thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> they call me daddy. No, Pietro's not crafting. He's just walking around. Soul forever trapped in a wooden duck. That's right. Stella's home still. She's been just chilling at home today. Which of your villagers disappeared? It was Lionel. Well, fine then, Stella. Don't be crafting. I thought about naming the outfit Sugar Daddy, but I found the other one funnier. Well, Sprinkles Ho. Maybe Sprinkles Crafting. Let me see. Well, she's leaving. Leopold is home too. Meringue is out there. Okay. We'll check with Leopold and then we'll check with Sprinkle. Pietro's house is crazy. <laughs> Oh, well, Leopold is just chilling. Kat and I came in here, we were both sitting in the chairs. I love Meringue and she is a sweetheart. She is sweet. Well, Sprinkle's not crafting. It's gotta be Elise. How long is this? Okay, Marathon. You just have a bug? Okay. I mean, you do you. I want this cork board. Dare you open the prison to talk to Elise? I don't know if it's worth it. Well, number one, whoa, whoa, Cookie. <laughs> Cookie's a wizard? Holy crap. Um. <laughs> I don't think I can open the prison while you guys are over. First of all, that would be a hazard. But secondly, I don't think it's possible to open the prison right now. Is she even home? Oh, she's home, this bitch. I bet she is crafting. Yeah, see, I can't <laughs> while people are over. Maybe if we were all in your house. I don't know, maybe. You could try it if you want. You can do it for science. Just trying to lure you, it's a trap. It probably is. Ugh. The whole reason you can't is to prevent people from block, prevent people from blocking people in. Interesting. Which wand is that? Mafia. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to go in my house, I can try and see if I can mess with it. The fishing wand. Oh, that's cool.
Where's Dalton? Or did you leave? Dalton, are you still here? Now my laptop is overheating. Aw. See you later, Red. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> I like your I like your uh Yo, I'm in your house. Okay, I'm gonna go try then. So you're all in the house, because yeah, I don't think it's gonna let me. You cannot be freed. Rat. I know, I'm even the cop and I still don't have the authority to free her. Ugh. The fishing wand came pre-crafted, so no recipe, which is cool because I didn't have star fragments. Well, there you go. I am disappointed, but you know, she was probably crafting something dumb that we already all have. Because that is life. Pilot. Yeah. <laughs> That's some extra glasses you have there. At least. You found nips? What? Well. <laughs> now you're stuck. Damn it. My plan didn't work. This is my turnip room. <laughs> ah, I see. You found nips. Well, you can't have these nips. They're not for you. They're sitting on a chocolate floor. I like your residential area. Thank you. I don't have paths down yet. Or their furniture. I still have to figure out what I want to do. Because I don't know if I want to do sand. And just have it all be kind of... Tropical and beachy or not? I don't want them. I have my own. Good for you. You keep your nips. Because, I mean, the sand is kind of nice. But yeah, I don't know. Nips! Got some palm trees. But yeah, I basically wanted to put everybody in the same area so I could easily go to people's houses, and I thought it would be kind of cute to have them all in the same area. So. My library is coming along really well. Once I visit a bookshelf maker, it'll be almost complete. You sneezed on Quilson's grave. Well, thank you for desecrating his grave. The sand paths are very neutral, too. They are. I'm curious if anybody made any kind of custom path that has, like, that would go with sand. Because I think somebody made one with seashells. I feel like that might complement the sand path and make it a little bit like give a little something extra you know what I mean 
35 bells is very, very low. But maybe you'll end up getting a spike. You never know. When I'm done eating, I must praise Bumble and press D to desecrate Coulson's grave. Did you always have a knife block with the dolls? I mean, the dolls... The dolls do what they wish. I can neither confirm nor deny what the dolls are up to at any given moment. Sure thing, Mr. Moon. Team Rocket blasting off again. So what are the two of you up to? Because I think, I was thinking about visiting Fender's Island to uh, buy some stuff from Sahara. So I didn't know if you guys were finished up shopping and whatnot. Looks like it's gonna rain. It might. You have the magnetic knife rack. It hangs on the wall. I do not have that. But that would be a great addition. Almost finished? Okay. Bye, Lacious. I bought extras. I'll bring them over sometime. Oh, that'd be awesome, Daughter of Anubis. So I just put in my PM turnip price. It says I have a 90% chance for a large PM spike tomorrow. Oh, really, Tim? What tool are you using? Did Fender say what mysterious flooring and wallpaper Sahara had? No. Cat might know. I don't know if she's still here or if she started streaming. Turnip profit? I should look up mine. Move these flowers over to the flower field. Which is becoming outrageous. Ivy Wall and Daisy Meadow. Hmm. Uh, right now it's friends only, but I often will just open it up with a dodo code. Um, I was mostly, I mostly opened it to let Dalton come over and uh, adopt Frika, who's moving out. But I'm actually running over to Fender's. 
um, once uh, once Dalton leaves to get Sahara wallpaper. But yeah, normally I use a dodo code so that y you don't necessarily have to be friends to come over. There he go. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna try this turn it profit thing. Okay, first time buyer, no. Previous pattern, what was last week's turn it pattern? I don't know. What was the price of turnips this week? Uh. I don't know that either. I think it was like 106 or something. 100 and something. So on Monday we had 93 and then 88. Tuesday we had 84 and 81. So yeah, I'm also... I am potentially going to get a decent spike on Thursday, according to this. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Who knows? That would be nice. But we'll find out, I guess. Thanks for having me. No problem. Oh, hi, Sprinkle. I want to travel. Yep. I want to visit someone. All right, let's go. Yours is shit this week. I sold some of them already, but I have another batch that I need to sell. I've reached enough points for Kita's forgiveness. I must use it when the time is right. <laughs> must save it for the perfect moment. Storage is a huge problem for me and my house is upgraded to max, but I'm always out of space. Hope they update something for storage. Yeah, same. I am worried about that. Hello. What is going on here? Are you having some sort of bonfire? He has the slime eyebrows. Remember him? We saw him on an island. I'm following you, cat. Is anybody crafting?
You're not crafting? Oh, hello, Cobb. I remember we ran. Did you buy the rugs, cat? Cat's just doing a dance around us, I guess. What are they? Ivory small round mat. Okay. Turquoise heart rug. Slim style carpet? Hmm. Maybe I'll get the medium one then. <laughs> Cat bombing the cutscene as always. Ma'am, cover your mouth. Oh, I think this is for you. It is. I meant to drop this. There you go. Cat is supposed to be streaming right now. <laughs> Officer! Ah! I guess I'll be like that officer and be not helpful and run away from you. Hello, Flamingo. I have greeted the Flamingo. Crafting, crafting. So this is Renee, the new the new villager. She's got earrings like fuchsia. Well, if she's hosting you, at least everybody knows where she is. <laughs> Gonna go get ready. Alright, bye, cat. I think the easiest way to get iron is to use Nook Miles and go on tours. Cute. 
need to farm Nook Miles for the damn land and water shaping tools now. Yeah, they're a bit pricey. I just want to learn this recipe. Oh man, I hope Nintendo streamlines this. They probably won't, but I wish they would. No, you're fine, Drake. It's just like, why can't we still do stuff while people are coming over? What recipe is that? I don't know. <clears throat> I'm about to find out. Don't even use the probably. They absolutely won't. Uh, I'm still disappointed that we got nothing for Fire Emblem's 30th anniversary yesterday. Nothing. The only thing they did was like they added some stuff to Heroes, I think. I'm just like... Really? Disappointing. What you doing? A shell lamp? I already know how to make that. At least I'm pretty sure the small... The small uh, shell lamp is the one that Wait, is this different? Is this a different lamp? Hmm. be considered furniture? I did learn it. That is an Apple TV. I just got that today, actually. The recipe for it. Also, I was gonna make a doghouse and put it outside of, of Cookie's house. Do you think that would be offensive to her? I don't... I don't know. That was something I thought about before I made it. I was like, would this offend her? She's a dog. I don't... Hello These are there. things I think about. It would offend her? You think I shouldn't? Lamps are miscellaneous? I swore I already knew how to make that, though. Like, I... That's weird. I really think I knew how to make that before because I looked because I was thinking about making them for the entrance and I remembered that you needed two giant clams and you needed clay. That's weird. Uh, Mizaki, thank you for the follow. Huh. Well, uh, either way, I now know this.
put a dog house outside of Sedith's house. He'll like that because it communicates to him that cats are better. Do you think Sedith thinks cats are better? I think... I don't know if Sedith has feelings about cats or dogs. He likes wyverns. Gifting the hamster cage to a hamster is so funny. <laughs> I think it's offensive, but Cookie would be too nice to say anything. Fragrance sticks. Cat, did you get these? For your incense burner? You did not. Do you want it? Because either I or Fender could send them to you. If you want them. That's a big hat suddenly in my face. Cat, are you still here? I thought you left. <laughs> nope, I guess not. Hi, cat. I got it, okay. Cat, did you even go live yet? <laughs> Ma'am, what are these pants? Guess I'll never know. Like teleported. Brown, I have it too. Brown. <laughs> Captain Tiny Crown flexing. Same hat. You have the full crown today, only 1.2 million. I'm sneaking in here. We've got the explorer tee, a nurse jacket, cowboy shirt, staff uniform, embellished denim pants, frilly skirt. Cat, you might like that. Fringe skirt? I don't know. You might like that too. This is the figure skating costume that Fender sent me. The tiny crown. Skirt with suspenders. I might buy this for Cookie. That would look really cute on her. Which color should I buy for Cookie? I'm gonna keep looking in the meantime. Fishnets, cowboy boots. Light blue? Blue. Okay, I'll get the blue one for Cookie. Yes. Okay, that's all I want, cat. Fender bought it for you. So, cat, if you wanna. Or not. Well, this is awkward.
Uh, no one else has said anything about audio lag. Try refreshing if you're having issues with audio. It's in sync for me. Okay, good. <laughs> Twitch has been wonky due to the incredible strains on their systems. Yeah. Really want the tiny crown? I like it a lot, but it, man, it's expensive. Expensive. If I get that large spike tomorrow afternoon, tiny crowns for all with the money you'll make on my island. True. True. You'll have to let us know, Tim, if you can save us. Hi. The rain is the sky's mascara. Wow, text deep. <laughs> wow. How nice. Oh, don't forget they're uh, crafting the shell lamp. Renee is. I waved goodbye. Fuchsia's out. It's in RNG's hands. It is that. Just been raining all day on your island? Isn't that good for catching fish, though? Or certain fish? I somehow missed the awesome cascading waterfall entrance. Yo. I'm gonna put the palm tree lamps 
Let me get them. I just don't have them yet. I just have the one. So, we working on it, we working on it. Buck Bumble's shrine has been moved to its proper place. All right, Cookie, I'm gonna give you this shirt. Or this dress, where'd you go? There you are, Cookie, hello. Someone's left the island. Something about vapor trails always make me feel kind of sad. Aw, she's looking up at the sky. Not that you can really see anything. Cookie, are you just having an existential crisis? Is that why I can't give you this? I think she is. Meanwhile, Fuchsia doesn't care. She's just pumping iron. I have all the fish through April. Jeez, Lacious. Ros saw Roscoe interacting with one of my zipper staffers of the blood bank. <laughs> That's me whenever I leave or someone leaves who is visiting. Cookie's just like, you can't. She's really sad that you guys left. Cookie, I have a gift for you. It's very cute. He does not care. He's having a moment. Let's see. Ooh, it's purple. I may have to put that outside my house. Cause it's purple. Hi, Meringue. Sneak it around. Cookie, how long are you gonna be having this existential crisis? Cookie. 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 I don't think she's okay. C cookie. <laughs> Go inside and come back out. Okay. Might reset her. He's dead inside. I guess so. Goodness. Oh, what's this look like? Oh, okay. In your face. Well, you know what? You know what? Fine. Cookie has stopped working. Fine, I'll put it in here. There's nothing in here. Oh, it's a Powerpuff Girls rug. Only it were pink. I have a superhero costume at my shop. It's not great. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. All right, let's go see if Cookie reset. Oh, mail? Oh, KK Calypso. Thanks, cat. So I'll leave that on for a while. All right, Cookie. Nope, I think she's still having it. Oh no, maybe not. Okay. This is for you. You like it? You can have it. Aww. It looks very cute. Stop wearing the baseball jersey. Ooh, lace up boots.
Aw. I really like the green one that I gave her a little while ago. She hasn't worn it in a couple days, but um, she has this green bow that she wears sometimes. And it looks really cute together, but I don't know where the green outfit went. Ozzy is just running into things. I guess we could go check if Elise is crafting. Is that what you've been doing this whole time, Elise? <sighs> All right, fine. Yeah, I guess this would be the easiest way in. The disrespect, Tim. Listen, everyone is wearing your outfits, Tim. This bitch, she was crafting the whole time. What are you making? A bird bath? I told you it was garbage. I do. I don't want it. I don't want your garbage. I don't want your garbage. I hate you. Why do you have a random shower? I wish it was something that could theoretically help her escape, like spoons. That would have been great. But sadly, it was a fucking birdbath. That we learned how long ago. Just... This is why you're in jail. This right here is why you're in jail. Hey, Ever. How's this game? Is it worth it? Uh, I think it's worth it. I'm enjoying my time with it. I kind of kept my expectations low, which allowed me to be more pleasantly surprised, I think, with this game. Whenever I get excited about something, I tend to get disappointed, but when I keep my expectations low, I end up being pleasantly surprised, so... That's kind of what happened with this game. I wasn't sure I was going to like it with all the crafting and stuff. Um... But I ended up liking it a lot. These flowers are so bright on my eyeballs. Same. Yeah. Dude, do you know what I found in a bottle the other day? A basic crafting table. Why is that a drop? I don't... You have to have that one, don't you? What is the point of that? Like, even the villagers... I guess Fuchsia's over here now. Even the villagers have their own little crafting tables, so why would you... Why would you ever need that? No, it's like a DIY. It's a DIY for the basic workbench, which everybody gets, so I don't... ...understand that. I'm not gonna take this. <gasps> Pietro, what's up, buddy? I know some folks call you Pumpkin. Can I do that too? Sure. You can call me Pumpkin, I guess. <laughs> Meringue started that. So I guess now Pietro. Anytime they have thought bubbles over their head, I get scared they want to leave. Thankfully, that was not the case. So Lionel's going to move in tomorrow. Got that. I am most likely gonna put nooks like here ish. Might be a little bit of a path. Um, and then kind of set up the shopping areas here. Which I guess kind of works. It's close to the resident services. Um because I don't like where they're placed. So I think I'm gonna do nooks and then able sisters and then Probably put the museum on a higher tier. I don't know what to do with the campsite, though. I thought about maybe putting it on the beach, but the thing is, then it's going to take up a huge amount of space on my beach, and I don't know if I want to do that. You know? Because nobody's ever there. We rarely have a camper unless I use an amiibo card. So, oh, he angry. 
Um, so I don't know what to do with the campsite. There's not really any room in the residential area. I wish you could go one more tier. I'm like, that would be nice if we could do one more on top of this, but... Unfortunately, we cannot. I mean, I could put it here. I don't know if I want to do that, though. I don't know if I want it in the residential area. You don't like where anything is placed now, it's a problem. I mean, that's what I've been using my turnip money for. Moving everything. I had to move all of the villager houses and that was 50K each. And some of them I had to move more than once if they ended up not being in the right spot. Like if I wanted to push them back a little further if or, or if I needed to kind of adjust their house. I kind of like how they're like built into the cliffs. I don't know. I just like it. I think it looks nice. Um, there was a lot of money and then I put like 50 stairs everywhere, <laughs> which was also a lot of money. So it was, it was an expensive endeavor and I'm sure it will be again when I start moving all the shops and I'm gonna have to get rid of this rock. So there's that. Rolling in the turnip money. Sure am. Rude. I bought two crowns. <laughs> one for me and one for Mr. Moon. And I have like, I think five million left. So I have been playing the stock market. If you can, I think that's your best bet for making money. Especially if you have online. <sighs> I'm gonna have to make another shovel. Thank you again. You're welcome, Mr. Moon. <laughs> no problem. If you have friends, the stock market is the best way. That, and you can also use Turnip Exchange, which is a website that lets you kind of queue in line. Um, to sell your turnips at somebody else's island that has good prices. You can see what their prices are. Um, just be aware that some people are trying to scam, which is really sad in an Animal Crossing game meant for children, but some people are trying to scam where they'll be like, like some people say that you need to give them tips to be able to sell there, which is fine. Like, I think that's fair if you're gonna make, you know, two million. When you come over, I don't think it's a bad thing to ask for tips. So, um, a lot of people will just ask for like, oh, that was the wrong one. We'll ask for like 99K or um, Nook Mile tickets or something like that. Um, and normally it's fine, but every now and then you'll get somebody that asks for those things and then you give it to them and then you go up and go to sell your turnips and the price is wrong. So they said it was some ridiculous price and then it ended up not being, so then they're just scamming people, which is really shitty because again, this is Animal Crossing and it's just kind of pathetic that people are doing that because a lot of kids play this game. Um, so just be aware of it. I haven't encountered that myself, but I have heard stories of other people who have, so... I'm just putting that out there. That that can happen. I'd be like, I need to go into your shop and look for a son. Well, the thing is people often have it like blocked off so that, um, so that you can't mess with any of their stuff, which makes sense. Cause when I had people over, that's what I did. Cause my turnip prices were okay last week. They were like three something, 360, I think. Um, so I put my town or my island on turnip exchange and I didn't have a lot of people cause my prices weren't amazing, but I had a couple of people come over and they were nice. Like someone gifted me the shell bed and that's why I have that. Someone gave me a bunch of nook miles and stuff. Um, but I fenced off the area so that they couldn't like go mess around in my town. So they could only go to nooks. So, you know, people will kind of like block stuff off until you give them a tip or whatever sometimes. It just depends on the player. But uh, yeah, I'm just letting you know that that's a thing that could happen. 
or they take your money in the end of the session. Yeah, stuff like that. The nice thing about Turnip Exchange is that you can report people. So that's how I knew that this was happening. Because um, I saw that this one, like you can rate people after you're done on their island. Like, was it a good experience or was it not a good experience? So if you see somebody with like a low percentage, um, I think that's just in the app though. I don't think that's on the actual website. I'd have to double check. I've been using the app because I think it's easier. Um, but you can see somebody's rating and if it's really bad or if you see people that comment and say like, oh, this person's scamming or whatever, then at least you can avoid it, which is nice. But uh, I'm just putting it out there that that is a thing that could happen. So like, be careful. First time I did it, I just tipped 400k. I mean, that was really nice of you, Lacious. That's unbelievably pathetic. It really is. Ah, oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, it worked really well because it was just like a path. It took forever to make because my nooks is all the way up here. But it was just a path that led right to nooks and then they would turn around and leave and then I didn't have to worry about anything getting messed up. And it made the process a lot faster, I think, because if you don't do that, then people have to figure out where nooks is and they run around and like it takes longer, so. I think it streamlines the process. But yes, that's one of the reasons why I want to put Nooks closer to the airport, because it would be a lot easier to just kind of fence this off. Although, I don't even think people, like this, I don't think people can get past this anyway. So like, they have to go to at least here. So then I would just need to fence off to where Nooks is, which would be pretty easy to do. I hope my prices spike up. They've been super low. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, trying to do turnips myself for once. All I've gotten is a small spike or fluctuating since I got the game. Yeah, fair. I couldn't imagine playing this without online. I really do think it makes a huge difference having online as opposed to playing without. Oh, thank you, DJM. Do you like my Buck Bumble Shrine? <gasps> I just need this damn palm tree lamp DIY. I keep trying. Sprinkles got a lollipop. She loves lollipops. I keep trying. Someone gifted me one. So it's over here. <gasps> I just want the DIY. Everyone praise the Bumble Shrine. Do it. Next big game you're excited for? Uh, what can what do you consider a big game? I mean, Shantae and the Seven Sirens is coming out somewhat Hello soon, there. I think. Hey, thank you for the follow. Um, I mean, it's technically already out on Apple Arcade or something. But for um, Switch and stuff, it's coming out, I think, over the summer? Something like that. I'm not 100% sure. So that's coming out. Um, they're re-releasing Bioshock on the Switch, which is very exciting. So that's coming out at the end of May. Uh, I mean, the big like new thing, I guess, that I'm excited for would probably be Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2. And that was supposed to be out first quarter, but it got pushed back. So I don't know when I'll be getting that. But that's probably the probably the big one that I'm excited for. I did not want to do that. This is why. I need to craft a better shovel before this thing breaks. Oop, there we go. Part of me just wants to buy a bunch of tools from Nooks because I don't feel like making these all the time. That's why I just have tools outside all the time. Because I just grab them when I need them and drop them. Did anybody have their watering can break? I have not had that happen yet. 
You buy the basic versions from Nooks? Oh, and then, uh, like, upgrade them. And then, okay, one iron for the better version. Okay, done. Yeah, it, d it does break. I, well, hello. My, uh, I don't use it enough, I guess. <laughs> that tells you how much I use it. I would like to get a section for crossbreeding flowers. I just haven't gotten there yet. Like I said, I'm kind of doing it a section at a time. A pet food bowl. Hi, Fuchsia. I loved old Vampire the Masquerade, but the gameplay for the new one was kind of disappointing. It hasn't come out yet. Or are you talking about like the visual novel kind? Because that's not the same thing. I forget what that one's called, but that's not the same gameplay as Bloodlines 2. And that game isn't out yet. My watering can is broken twice. Okay. The pet food bowl would also be offensive for Cookie. Well, what if Cookie has a pet, though? That didn't specifically say dog food bowl. The gameplay trailer they released for Bloodlines 2 is not that much. Yeah, so we don't really know. There was a demo? When? I have not seen or heard of this. Because they haven't really shown much of the gameplay thus far. Sell a hot item for a fortune. What hot item do you want? Demo trailer? Oh, okay. I was going to say, I didn't think that you could play. Cutting board, ironwood kitchenette. I don't know if I want to make that for you. What does that require? It'd be amazing if you could custom play a custom song out of the radio, then the bu Bumble Shrine could have its legendary song. I wish, but they'd be like, no, copyright. Which... I get, but like, still, it would be nice. Oh, it doesn't actually take that much. Oh, it's raining now. Alright, well. I guess I'll make that and sell it and get the Nook Miles. Well, I didn't need any of that. Aw, she has an umbrella. I feel like I should go gift her a better umbrella. Sir, can you... I can't see. if it's fair to judge Bloodlines 2 on a trailer. On a gameplay trailer that was a while ago. I think I'm gonna play it for myself before I make a judgment call. Just wanted to check because I couldn't remember. And yeah, Amazon UK has just the listing for two as the 31st of December. Yeah, they tend to do that for like a placeholder date. So most likely it just doesn't have a real date yet. Oh. 
Hey. Also, these days, if something about the game really captures me, it can be mediocre in other major areas. That's fair, Alicia. It's like some games, some games, it's more about the gameplay than the, you know, than the story in some situations. Like, you don't really expect a story. Like, you know, like a platformer usually doesn't really need to have an amazing story. I'm not saying that it can't or, or shouldn't, but like Crash Bandicoot doesn't really have a crazy amazing story, but it's still a fun game. Whereas on the other hand, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines had some serious janky gameplay, uh, but the world and the characters and everything were so interesting that it was, you know, I could forgive that. All right. Uh, have this. Really liked We Happy Few because of the setting and story of the gameplay was not great and buggy as hell. Yeah. I only played a little bit of We Happy Few. Buying two of these. I'm gonna buy two of these. Goodbye, Smalls. We have a few looked interesting, but it's almost never on sale. Were you still considering doing Vampire the Masquerade 1 for Halloween if 2 is not by then? Uh, potentially. I don't really know. It's kind of hard to plan in advance, um, in the, that far advance, just because I don't know what's going to come out before then. I don't know what I'm going to be in the middle of doing, and I don't know even what mood I'm going to be in. Um, but it is a possibility for sure, because I really did enjoy, uh, Bloodlines. And I would not be opposed to playing again and playing as a different class. Oh, Ozzy, you're cute. All right, I gotta go find Fuchsia because her umbrella is not good enough. Fuchsia, where did you go? Oh, there she is. Have this pineapple one. You want this? A pineapple umbrella. A basketball tank. I mean, I didn't really want that. I hope you use the pineapple umbrella, though. Pietro, what is that hat? Pietro, come here. <laughs> oh, I can't give him something because I already gave him something today. We'll find them. I know this is supposed to be a ghost, but I don't really think that looks like a ghost face. Do you? I guess technically Spongebob's house is to the right of Squidward's house. So can we just move this over a little bit? Only 
one of my rocks could spawn on the beach, sadly. That is not how life works. I was hyped in general for new console releases, but I'm a but if I'm a betting man, which I'm not, I would bet they're gonna get delayed. That would not surprise me. That's legit. Definitely didn't mean to try and lock you down to it or anything. Oh no, I didn't think you were. I just was kind of explaining my thought process. Who knows? We might still be playing Fire Emblem by that point, dear God. Which, speaking of, we should be finishing Church Route this week. Actually, I shouldn't say we should be. We are finishing Church Route this week. Like, I'm determined to finish it this week. So, I think what we're going to do is exploration today. And I don't know if we'll get into the battle or not, the final battles. Because they happen pretty fast, I think. I don't think there's another exploration in between the last two battles. At least as far as I understand it. I'm not 100% sure, but... I don't know. So probably what will happen is we will finish, like, we'll do the final battle on Thursday. Depending on how much time things take. And if for some reason we would not be able to finish it, we're going to do an extra stream on Friday to finish it up. And, uh, and then be done with Church Route. The thing I'm wondering is, because I don't know how much time, uh, how much, uh, gameplay we have left for, um, Golden Deer. I kind of wonder if it would be possible to play through Blue Lions before we finish uh, Golden Deer. <laughs> oh no, Cookie, you better not be leaving. I will cry. Oh no, everyone's calling you Pumpkin. Yeah, you can call me Pumpkin, Cookie. <laughs> Don't scare me like that, Cookie. You can't leave. You're not allowed. Oh, Balloon. <laughs> Speed run, rip off the band-aid. Well, the thing is, is that we've seen a lot of supports now, right? I actually made, over the weekend, I made a spreadsheet of all of the supports I need um, for my events page. Oh, bamboo wand, I have that. I'm just gonna put this in the pile. Um... So I want to focus on ones that I don't have. So that's going to be Dudu and Dimitri. And then like other little ones here and there that I don't have. And Gilbert, bleh, to get all of his too. So a lot of the ones we've already seen are probably just going to be skipped. So that'll save us a lot of time, I think. Also the beginning phase before time skip is probably going to go pretty fast because we've done it three times already. I feel like I've still not seen a, a bunch of Lorenz supports. I'm missing some for him. Again, I'd have to look at the spreadsheet to see what we're missing. All night speed run Saturday, Sunday, go. Don't tempt me, Tim. Don't tempt me. No more crazy soon. It's true. You could always drop a rock on the other side. <laughs> Just like put a, a single small rock on the other side. <laughs> Does this convey what it needs to convey? Do I have one? No, I have clay. Well, that's not what I wanted. I There are some characters I actually have all the supports for, at least to my knowledge. Like Dorothea, I have all of her supports. Um, Manuela, I'm only missing Gilbert's, and there's just two. Uh, Hanneman, I'm almost done with two, I think. Although, we'll probably watch some... I think, I think if we do Crimson Flower again... Uh, to get, like, Yuritsa and all those extra ones. We'll probably watch all of Edelgard's. Because there were some that I don't think we saw during Crimson Flower. And, you know, just to respect a queen. I don't really want this tank top. Yusha, I'm sorry to tell you, but I don't really want that. I should make this cop outfit an outfit in my in my magic wand. Um, do I want these shoes? Here, let's look. Let's see what other shoes I have. I might have shoes that would work better. A 
stone stool, that would work. I think I have one of those too. Pretty interested in the 7 remake, but also scared of how completely changed the gameplay looks. Yeah, I haven't played any Final Fantasy game in my life, so I... These kind of work, actually. I I don't know if I would like it or not. I'm, I'm still kind of sitting on maybe trying Persona. Because I feel like I might. I feel like that's one I might like. So I was thinking about just kind of doing a, you know trial and see how I feel about it. Antique boots. Oh, I think the lace-up boots are probably what we want to go. Oh, the buckles. We could do the buckles. Or steel-toed. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Lacy boots or the steel-toed boots for this outfit? I'm watching your golden deer route VODs, but I can't find your church route ones. They should just be in... I don't think they're in a... Um... Uh, thing yet. A collection yet. I need to put them in a collection. Um, you should be able to see a bunch of them in the past broadcasts, though. Since I'm still... I'm still going through them. Or in highlights. Like, if you just look in highlights, they should show up. Um. Eelto? Okay. I see you could try there. I wish the Twitch had a better organization uh, system for VODs because I highlight everything which you're probably not supposed to do and they probably don't actually want you to do that but that's what I do so ooh, these ones though I think these ones so um oh I never pressed the right button Uh, but yeah, I, tr I try to organize them best I can, but they're not in their own collection yet, so that might be why they're kind of hard to find. But yeah, try looking in highlights um, or just looking in past broadcasts. Okay, changing. Salt Star Power! I see Floridian. Thank you so much for the resub for two months. I see says, A. Hey. hey. Thank you for that resub. Register outfit. Perfect. And now we are wearing nothing. So there's that. Perfect. I was almost gonna say when I entered, are you old bag? No, not old bag. I am me. It isn't so much a remake as a reboot. They changed the story, like really changed it. Oh, for Final Fantasy VII? Interesting. The gameplay being totally different is the only reason you're gonna play it. Turn-based menu combat of old RPGs doesn't bore me as much now that it isn't what JRP every JRPG does. I'm really picky about turn-based combat. But I don't know. Yeah, I was kind of thinking we could try to move through Blue Lions pretty fast. Just because, like I said, uh, I think the pre-time skip part will go fairly quickly. And then um, we are going to be skipping a lot of supports that we've already seen. So... And just focusing more on the ones I don't have. So I don't think it'll take that long because, interestingly, like, Church Route is finishing up before we're done with Golden Deer. And we still have a bit of Golden Deer left. 
And I mean, we are playing church route twice a week, so that also makes it go faster. But I think it's only been, what, two months? Something like that? I don't know when we started church route. It's been like two months, something like that. So I don't think it'll take super long to do. But, yeah, like I said, I also want to try something, try something new. Which I thought about doing this week, but since watch parties, we can't do because everybody needs to have an Amazon Prime account and you need to be in the US and that's just kind of dumb. So, not doing watch party. Um, but yeah, I kind of thought, well, just in case we need an extra day to finish church route or just me being like kind of tired from finishing it. I was just like, now nah, we can start something new next week. So, supports do take a lot of time, and we've seen a lot of them multiple times, so I think this will actually make it go faster. So anyway, that's my plan for life. Hold on. This is a really good photo moment, I think. I think we need to capture this moment. Perfect. Perfection. Alright. Well, it's a little after two. So, I think I'm done for right now. But we'll be back later tonight.